Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hobbits, today joined by... Leisure, the Sultan of Simcoe. And... Henrik, the General of Goose. Yes, and uh, today looking at more beer. <laughs> this is another one of the beers that are on sale at Best of Beers at the moment. Uh, link for the sale is down below, so check them out if you want to get some pretty good beer at a decent price. So, uh, check it out. But uh, this is another uh, 18th Street beer. And I've reviewed the base beer version for this like three years ago, and one of the first fishing trips actually, I think. Oh, cool. So, oh. Dad, uh, well, that's the thing we do once a year uh, with my pops. But uh, this is Hunter by 18th Street, and this is the Cherry Edition. So, a double milk stout on 8.5%. Yeah. 5%. It doesn't say so on the label. I don't get why they can do that in the States. It's a pretty but, cool bottle, though. Yeah, amazing artwork on it. It's like some snakes and cherries and arrows and fire and. <laughs> Yeah, it looks crazy. Tribal tri tri stuff? Yeah. Is that a uh, snake with double uh, head? Oh. Yeah, double headed snake. Uh, but it looks really good. Uh, double milk stout with lacto sugar, because it's a milk stout, cherry, and coca nibs. So there's also like chocolate in there. Oh, okay. Oh. So this sounds interesting. This sounds really good. I, I mean, so. uh, already from the glass, it seems viscous, doesn't it? Like, really yeah, yeah, yeah. thick. Uh, I had a cherry chocolate stout from Funky Buddha mm. at. Uh, the color bar Aarhus, and that tasted like moon chili chocolates. Oh, you remember those? Nice. Cool. Yeah. So, but yeah, it should be interesting. So we got it poured, guys, and well, it's pitch black when you hold it up to the light. Yeah, motor oil. It, yeah, yeah, motor oil. <laughs> yeah. What do you call the head on there? Well, you're the only one. Not existing. Yeah. <laughs> I have a tiny head. We totally oh, didn't yeah. use this glass yeah, for uh, different beers. <laughs> brownish. It's fun. It's yeah, it was like a brownish thick. tan head too. Yeah. Pretty thick though. Yeah. Creamy. Just, not, just creamy, creamy head actually. Aroma. Yeah, it definitely coats the glass. But yeah, let's check out the aroma on the Hunter Cherry. Yeah, oh, cherry. <laughs> that's good. Cherry, yeah. Yeah, get a bit cherry. of uh, like a very dark chocolate. Yeah. 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 I and think it's more so dark chocolate than sweeter chocolate notes that I think I expected, kind of. Yeah. I think I think you also get a slight really? sourness. That's from cherry. Cherry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Vanilla, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Deep, can, deep, mm. deep vanilla. I can see the vanilla for sure. There's something in there that's reminding me of rye, rye bread for some reason. Yeah, I get that as well. Like a bit malty. Yeah, like a roasty, toasty, yeah. rye bread malt. But it's, malty, you yeah. can taste that, that or I'm smell that it's uh, definitely like that kind of sweet cherry chocolate esque. I mean, it's not as completely as like a Montreal chocolate as the. Funky Buddha beer I had. I guess it's a dry, it's similar. dried grapes, fruity thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dry, yeah. dry grape mm. kind of fruit. Oh yeah, definitely. A raisin stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like the like in Denmark, it's very popular to eat like dried grapes and fruits at Christmas. Yeah. It's definitely like those kind of dried dark fruits. But dates a bit actually. <coughs> it smells pretty nice. Mm. Do you guys want to try it? Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Cheers. And, Cheers. Uh, thanks to Best of Beers for the beer. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, you get the cherries. Very cherry forward. Actually, not too much chocolate. Very sweet, actually. Yeah. Very sheet, sweet, yeah. But you, and you very yeah. sheet. <laughs> very sheet. Very <laughs> sheet. Look I at this sheet. Had a few beers. So, <laughs> but no, no, nice sweetness. Actually, got a Ooh, little coffee aftertaste. Ha hazelnuts, nutty. Yeah, yeah. Maybe like like a nuts. like a. It's just it's a very Christmas. Like a like ha ha hazelnut mm. syrup. Like yeah. Kind of like that. Yeah. 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 And cherry. It's like whipped. Whipped cream or something. Yeah, maybe that's the lactose it's playing good. in with that vanilla whipped cream as thing. But it's definitely like got a lot of roast on the aftertaste, especially like coffee mm. in my mind. Yeah, but you don't you after you said you don't really get like oh. too much dark chocolate notes. In no, there. it's very sweet. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah. vanilla. It's more like coffee. Yeah, more, maybe more vanilla and coffee yeah. and, and and this is just cherry. like uh, the aftertaste here is like a, a vanilla um, milkshake. I get the vanilla yeah, milkshake. Yeah, I can see the comparison. Kind of like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sweet, it's easy drinkable. It's it's actually very drinkable for 8.5. Yeah. And like it's got like a nice chewy, medium, actually, very silky I, I, smooth mouth. I'm very, very glad of this beer. Is, so far, I think mm -hmm. it is so sweet mm. and, 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 and yet not. The so yeah, sweet. yeah. It's, it's, like there, there's a good balance between the sweetness yeah, and, 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 a bit of, and a bit of the sourness from the from the cherries. And, and then and a bit stuff. of bitterness from the And, and the bitterness. From the, it's a good balance, yeah. Like it's not the fullest of bodies, but it's a little mm. bit like chewy and oily from the mm. lactose, but it's not super rich. No, but that also makes it, it feels it, very watery in your, in your mouth. But, but that also makes it drinkable because it is mm. quite sweet. I mean, and it leaves a sticky gloss on your lips too. Yeah. yeah. 
I think it's pretty nice. I can't remember. I think I gave the regular 100 like a 92, and I think I'll give this the same. Now, this has also been aged for a bit. I think this was released maybe a year ago or so, maybe a bit more. But I think fresh, you'd get more of the chocolate and, and vanilla. So I think I'd like it more then. But I'm going to give the same grades as, as a regular Hunter, like a 92. I think that was what I gave it, somewhere around that. So, uh, yeah, 92. Really nice. Not like mind-blowing, but just very well done. Milk start with cherry and chocolatey vanilla flavors. It's solid. It's a bit fun to hear because I have a complete other uh, experience here. I think this is amazing. Uh, I think in 98. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this, this is very, very, very good. I got That's awesome. When I, got, I can easily see myself drink this uh, bottle by yourself. Pleasure. Maybe? Could you drink uh, this bottle on your own, you think? Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. But, uh, but, but not at a party. Like when I get home from work on a hard day. This would be the perfect stuff to get me to sleep. <laughs> but, <laughs> well, you would. But, uh, yeah, but an amazing journey. Uh, I was, I was thinking actually only ninety to be honest. I mean, I, I like it. It's solid, but yeah, I think I maybe know, it's, it's because it needs a little more age, or not that more age. It was maybe a bit more maybe. fresh. I don't yeah. know. But uh, they did a whole series of this. They even have like coconut versions and yeah, yeah. I can't remember all of them, but they did a ton. But I still think it's worth a go. It's a very nice. Of course it is. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, milk stout, and it's you know got a good amount of flavor yeah. compared to eight eight point five. Isn't that low ABV? Of course, no. But you know, compared to the big crazy hey, high ABV, it's got a lot of flavor. But nice stuff. Um, yeah, I, I do enjoy 18th Street stuff, and it's not often we see it here in Denmark, but once we do, I usually try and get it, because I enjoy it. They have actually a beer that kind of tastes like uh, the breakfast cereal, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. <laughs> That's really good. I can that sounds nice. But yeah. but yeah, guys, uh, if you had a chance to try the um, 18th Street Hunter Cherry Edition, definitely let us know what you thought of it. And uh, yeah, thanks a ton to Bissa Beers for the beer, and uh, Lesson. Happy birthday tomorrow. We forgot to mention that. We've been shooting a few birthday <laughs> reviews for you today. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, let us know what you thought of it, guys. And uh, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And check out my original review of the Hunter, the base beer for this. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. cheers. And see you in another beer review. <laughs>